Hi guys, today's YouTube video I'm going to show you how to make a comic book bag so you'll need the bag, the comic, Mod Podge in the gloss range, scissors and a bowl. You want to start by selecting the images from the comic that you want to apply to the front of the bag. I also like to leave a strip down the side of the bag as I just think it looks more neater. So first you want to start by cutting out all the sections of the comic that you want to apply to the bag. Don't glue yet as you can re mix them around and decide what order you want them to go in. So next you'll need a brush. You can use a bigger brush than this. I'm using a small one as I've run out of big brushes. So for the Mod Podge you don't want to apply too much glue because this might rip the paper and also it makes the paper more likely to wrinkle. Push all the air bubbles out as well. You will get some air bubbles in it but once the glue dries they have a tendency to disappear. So like I said, you wanna, you can take the comic off, the glue doesn't dry straight away, which is great. You can move it around, you give it a little trim, which is great. It takes a good while to dry. I usually leave it for two hours to dry. So once you've got a nice setup, you can move on to the next set. Again, cutting all the pieces out, you don't wanna apply too much. I like to use the first comic that I cut out and place the next comic against it because I do all my comics in a line. So measure one comic to another comic and cut it all out. Now that it's that now that it's applied, again check for air bubbles and then I like to tuck the bag inside the bag and do the clutch bit because I think I do the clasp bit because I think that's much easier to do. <coughs> So for the clasp bit, you don't want to be cutting out the main part of your comic or your picture. Like you don't want to cut anyone's face out or wearden. So make sure you look for the right picture to use and be careful when you're doing it. So it's easy if you score around the clasp. I like to do, I do this with my nails, but if you haven't got nails, use a card or anything like that. Cut, when cutting out the clasp bit, cut it smaller than what you've scored because then you can push it onto the clasp and it will rip just nicely enough just to fit in snug. Do it gently because you don't want to tear the whole piece of paper. Do not apply the glue until you've, you've finished and you're happy with the picture where it is. You don't want to leave any gaps around any of the other comics. You, you just want it to sit really nice. And then just fill in the other gaps. With this bag, it's quite easy because it's a shiny bag. I wouldn't recommend using suede or anything like that because you will wreck your bag. So once that's finished and all your air bubbles are out, leave it to dry for two hours. And then once it's dry, come back to it. So now it's dry and as you can see, all the air bubbles have come out. You can see that there's glue on the bag and on the silver, shiny with the front, but don't worry, that just wipes off with a baby wipe so for the Mod Podge just coat it on cake it on but then go over it it does dry clear but you can see the brush strokes so I advise you to go in the same direction for all the whole of the bag all the way around so slap it on but then go over it and make sure it goes in straight lines because you will see them brush strokes it does not matter if it goes on the clasp as you can just wipe it off with a baby wipe it's so easy to just wipe it off. I wouldn't recommend taking this bag out in the rain neither. I mean, if you spill your drink next to it, that's fine. It will just wipe off. And you can also clean it with a damp cloth, but it's not waterproof. So once this is finished, leave it to dry for two hours. Come back to it again when it's finished. So this is the first coat. As you can see, you can see the lines. I'm just going to tuck the handle in as I need to apply another coat so again cake it on it's not like the first time we could only use a little bit because the comic will crinkle just cake it on and then go down to make it even so this is the finished product if you like my YouTube video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe I hope you like the video guys